So I kind of want to play survival and I also want to make some tutorials and I also want to make some ships. So here's an idea. What if I play survival like a tutorial and then also when I need ships, I make ships for it as a tutorial and I make all that a series. Well, this is it. I guess let's start with creating the world. Uh, star system. Yeah, let's name it something. Uh, su su survival. I suck with words. Let's add some mods. Aerodynamic physics. Build vision. Built in for easy block renaming. Catch beacon norm. Regis. Glowing bullet trails. Hood compass. No pressing sounds. No inventory full sound. Uh, realistic holographic sight on vanilla rifles. Uh, reach a HUT master, rotate skybox with the sun, space chest code trail, text hood API, recolorable thrusters, and that's it. No blocks, no materials, just something to make the game a little bit more fun. So you can play without mods, it will still work for you. And let's put everything on realistic for more fun. <laughs> and let's, what else? Let's crank up the day duration to 24 hours. Let's disable the block limits. All right, how else can we torture ourselves? Disable auto healing, just in case current up the auto saves a little bit higher. Uh, let's see. Third person view, let's disable it. Unknown signals, ah, let's keep them. Progression, let's keep it just for the tutorial sake. Usually I would disable it because it's annoying. Weather enabled, economy enabled, auto respawn disabled, respawn ships enabled, friendly missile damage enabled, remote block removal, let's disable it for now, wolves disabled, voxel destruction enabled, jetpack, let's disable it to make the game more painful, convert station enabled, oxygen enabled, encounters enabled, adaptive simulation quality disabled, scripts enabled, Cargo ships enable, permanent death disable, resort order ship disable, deleter spawn ship disable, asteroid amount. <laughs> eh, let's give them normal for now, we can change it later. Right? Right. Okay. And I guess start. And we have loaded in. Let's start on Pertum, because it's pretty much the hardest planet to start on. Other stuff like space pot. Space pot is pretty much the easiest, I guess. But let's do. Let's start on Bertam, just because I can. And here we are. Let's also set up some settings in the world. First of all, aerodynamic settings. I like to crank up the track higher so you can't go really fast. Deflection to one. This to one. Atmospheric minimum to ten. So there's some track in space. Disable reentry true. It's annoying. Maximum speed 1000, you wouldn't be going that fast anyway. Simulation max speed to 5000, simulate wind falls, heat damage disable, TG physics disabled. There we go, let's save it and let's reload the world now. <laughs> so the speed limit is applied. Alright, and now also we do something like this. Let's go trash removal, suspend for now. Voxels, it's suspended, other, stop grids period, it finds time in which after grids will be stopped far from player, let's disable that, right, neighbor, <laughs> and that's it, I think that's the configuration done, right, here we are, where are we, in the middle of the desert, okay, this is not a really good location to spawn in, so what we want to do is, I guess convert the respawn pod into something that can fly. So first of all let's loot the chair, pistol and some other stuff. And I guess, well, we gotta grind down the chair. And let's see. Yes, unknown technology, we have to research it first. Let's actually check the progression tree. Uh, because I usually play without it. So basically to open up these blocks you need to weld up the previous block and it goes like that. Very, very annoying, so let's for example grind down this landing gear just below functional and bam, there we go. As you can see we have opened some new blocks. Now I think we can weld up the seat just a bit more functional. Did that open anything? 
Uh, no, it didn't. But okay, we can make a cockpit now at least. Right, what else we need is a gyroscope. Do we still have it? Do we already have it open? Gyro, 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 gyro. Where, where is it? Gyroscope. Am I blind? Oh, there it is. Okay, so we need to make a control seat first. And let's clean up the toolbar. It's a little bit messy. Alright, cockpit control, control seat. Let's go with control seat because it's cheaper. Place it and start welding up. Alright, we need some motors, some computers and some displays. Let's see. There's one motor here. We can easily take it. Bam. Alright, computers and displays are pretty cheap, so we can just so right click to add to the build planner. Shift middle mouse button on the respawn pod. Survival kit to add it to production. Let's add some ingots to production. Let's deposit all of our components that we have right now with Alt middle mouse button. And now we can mine. So if we hold right click, we take a big hole. Left click, small hole, but we get resources that we need to pick up after that. And if you press the button twice, it keeps it to enabled. Just like that. So for now we need to get stone. Usually it's more efficient to go deeper, where we get actual stone and not just digging sand. I think you get a lot more stone from that. If I'm not mistaken, of course. It's pretty deep on Pertum. Let's just dig sand for now. <laughs> And deposit. If you switched up and you have different display modes, you should probably play with this one if you're not familiar with the controls. And also in the options, you can enable or disable control hints, rotation hints, good bot hints. It's all dis enabled by the default. Right, while well, the things are getting crafted, we can do something like this. One thing that you can do is also convert your respawn pod into a miner. We can do that later. Right, build vision, very useful mod. Can probably let's keep the auto lock off. Lock off. There we go. Right, how's the production? Almost done. Okay. Oh middle mouse button to withdraw the components. Well this up. Right displays are there. Anywhere that we can get them from uh, no, not sync. Right, I guess we got a mine for them. Let's keep doing that. And... Done. All components successfully withdrawn. There we go. We have a seat. We have unlocked new blocks. No need to really weld it up fully, but we might as well do it. Now let's go under the pot and take off this hydrogen thruster. Oh. Right. Are the landing gears separated? Also, let's go thrusters. They're invisible. They are off. Okay, we can turn them on. Oop, dampeners off. Alright, what we have ended up <laughs> this. Well, the pot is upside down. Alright, now we need a gyroscope. <laughs> so we can orient ourselves. Let's put it anywhere. Like here. Alright, some steel plates, some motors and some computers. Nothing too complicated. I guess we might as well mine some stuff for it as well. Put to production. And now we begin mining. Right, and let's drop this off because it takes up space in my inventory. So I can get some more stone. And there we go. Don't need those steel plates. At the end, the component is still functional. And and I think I can now rotate the, sh the pot. Let's put the gyroscope on override. Uh, oops. Gyroscope, override, uh, roll. Let's do a little bit. I don't think that works. Maybe pitch. There we go. Bam. Perfect. Alright, it's going to be hard flying with just the upward thrust. But I can do it. I have played in all enough durable space program <laughs> to do that. Alright, I think I picked up everything. Now let's go get that unknown signal. And glide in smoothly. It's even harder to do this in first person. <laughs> and watch the speed and land. 10 out of 10 landing. Alright, uh, let's press button. Let's get some garbage. 
Yay, Pyre Welder, don't care. And wow, the some resources. Look at that. <laughs> Come on, can I deposit everything? Probably not. Okay, let's just do this <laughs> instead. And we can now salvage the pod itself. Now, a semi-advanced trick that you can do is add a drill to your respawn pod and turn it into a miner. That's something you can do, I guess. That's something that I might do here right now. How much stuff would they need for a drill? Not that much. Usually when people do that, they add something like a car container at the back, and then a cockpit, and then the drill on the front. We could also add this kind of a car container here, then a drill on it, and there's a trading station. Nice. Alright, let's finish salvaging this thingy. And then fly off on our way. Alright, so when running out of air, you can either do this on the survival hit, or there's some bottles in here, right? Oxygen and hydrogen. Hydrogen is useful for the jetpack, but well, we don't have the jetpack. So I guess hydrogen bottles are kind of useless. <laughs> also, the survival kit refills the energy, but you can do the same if you just sit inside the seat. And take off. And let's check our surroundings. What you want to be looking at, and for, I guess, is discolorations on the ground. Because under those, there's ore. And ore is much more efficient to use than stone, but you need to get at least a basic refinery to refine it. And actually use it again. And in this region of Pertam, I'm not seeing any, so we might need to fly around for a bit. We have enough energy. Oh, oh, is that a white spot I see? Let's land and check it out. The ore detector on the spot should be already stopped. To max range, right? Let's see what we get. And there's another one. Cobalt. Nice. Let's mark it for later. Oop. Land. And GPS. Let's just go go. There we go. And fly off. And scan another one. And repeat. And what do we have here? Let's see. Iron. Nice. Anything else? Nope. Just iron, it seems. Maybe something deeper. Man, it's pretty nice in here. <laughs> but I do need to knock out the roof so I can see stuff. <laughs> oh, look at that. A lot of discolorations over there. Lots of ores to detect. Alright, so I found four basic ores. Cobalt, iron, nickel, and silicon. That's the basic stuff that most of your ship's components will use. You can do pretty much most of the functional blocks on your ships, just to think that. For more advanced stuff, you will need more advanced stores and more advanced refinery to process them. But for now, let's at least get a basic refinery going. So let's try out that plan that they wanted to do. First of all, let's actually, let's put a container on the back here, medium. Take out the components for it. We have them thanks to salvaging that unknown signal. By the way, there's another unknown signal there. We might salvage it as well. And there we go. I can grind it down a little bit in order to not waste components. Alright, what else did it need? Okay, just computers. Computers and functional. Just not armored. And let's move everything from here into here. And then we can add a cockpit with a connection, maybe? Which one of those is it? Cockpit... Uh, this one doesn't have the correct on the rear. So, fighter cockpit, I guess. It's going to look really strange. It's going to look really strange. Another option we can do is shift the survival kit a little bit more inside. And because survival kit has the correct connection for the normal cockpit. We can then put a normal cockpit and a drill on the front. Yeah, let's do that. Let me quickly do all of that. And then we can use the respawn pod as a mining ship to get stone. Alright, we can actually move this. Not even move this conveyor. We can change it into this. Yep, it fits perfectly. 
And we need interior plate. Interior plate. Interior plate. Do we have any spare interior plates? Probably in this royal kit. Right. There we go. And even the construction component. Okay, well then. And there we go. And now we put a cockpit here. Bam. And we just need two more displays for it. Great. And we can remove this here. And add a drill on it. And it's all working out pretty well. Alright, there we go. Everything is built up. Let's add the drill. Untock. And let's get to some stone. And let's start mining it. You won't really be able to fly with it, probably. Because I'm down to three thrusters. Because I needed to sacrifice one of them. And the H2O2 generator to get the drill going. And that's okay. And it's the same here as with the handheld drill. Left mouse to mine the actual materials. And right to make big holes. Yeah, let's just mine the ground. <laughs> and we can get a lot of stone like that. A lot faster than with our hands. And because of one of our mods, either build info or build vision, I think it's build info. We can see the inventory on our ship. Alright. There we go. And now it's processing the ingots. Nice. Amazing. Perfect. Much faster than doing it by hand. And now I guess let's get the basic processing facilities. We need refinery, assembler, both basic ones, and a windy turbindy. Where is it? Under the solar panel category. Bam, bam. Let's get some blocks. And for the wind turbine quickly check with the help of some mods. I don't really remember how far up I need to make it in order to have maximum power. I think something like... Oh, it, it tries right there. Terrain 7.5 to 25 meters. Okay, so 25 meters, that's... If one large block is like 2.5 meters, then it's 10 blocks up. Okay. Right. Very useful mod. Should be vanilla game, honestly. Right, let's see. Yep, it's refining, I guess. <laughs> so let's put the components that we need in our pill planner. So we need earth. No, not the thruster. I guess actually, let's just take some steel plates and begin building. Uh, right. So let's orient it to gravity by pressing B a few times. Let's put the refinery here. That's an assembler. Oops. And uh, I think we can actually do this using a ship. Uh, how do we do this? Control G, I think. Yes, Control G. Oh, we are too heavy to fly right now. But yeah, if you press Control G, you can actually access the block selection inside of your ship and place them from your ship. Very useful. And I don't think a lot of people know about that. This would be a lot easier with a jetpack. <laughs> While the stuff is refining, I feel like I need to say something. Different components need different sizes of conveyors on the small grid. So through the small conveyors you can't really pull out everything. For example, something like this. No, can't do that. But something like ingots you can. And yeah, one of the mods. I think it's built in for, right? Shows which components need large conveyors. On the large grid, everything can pass through the conveyors. So it's just something to keep in mind when making a utility ship in order to weld up your base. You need to have large conveyors connecting stuff. And this is kind of scary. <laughs> Bam. And a little bit more. All right, I think we can place a wind turbine now. Can I extend it like this a little bit? Hoop, hoop, hoop. Careful, careful, bam, right, well, I think it has pretty good clearance, now we just need to get enough components to build it up, perfect, oh, uh, what kind of weather is that, let's see, okay, just a sandstorm, because electric storm would be bad, because it would ruin everything around here, but just a sandstorm is totally fine. Just going to be hard to see it. 
and same goes for welders double click and it just kind of welds i really need to get better tools <laughs> there we go power we have power now let's descend down <laughs> and get the refinery going <laughs> okay let's put set to assemble um how many iron ingots do i have Okay, I guess this respawn pot is pretty much made of steel plates, so I might as well salvage it, little by little. Oh, also you can take some steel plates from the battery, just be careful not to grind down the power cells. There we go, 20 steel plates, nice, getting really close to getting this refinery finished. And one more, one more steel plate. Just one more, and it will be done. Do, 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 do. There we go. Right, now we have a refinery, now we can mine some actual ores and process them. Very nice. Very, very nice. Hooray. But for that we will need an actual proper miner, and not just this, because this can only kind of mine the stone, the ground. <laughs> So the question is, do we convert this, or do we make an entire dedicated miner? I'm kinda inclined to making a dedicated miner, but just wonder if it's going to be faster to just slap some thrusters on this. Not sure, I will need to think about it. Alright, so here's the deal. We can't make a miner that is, well, that uses new parts, because we can't make the new parts yet, because we don't have a basic assembler yet. In order to get that assembler, we need a few resources that I guess we can use this basic piece of junk to get them and refine them and then we can make a more advanced miner, right? Right. I think that makes sense. Now let's see if I can pilot this <laughs> inside of a hole. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, let's see how this goes. Let's orientate ourselves. I guess we could also just salvage some unknown signals, but it's going to be a little bit faster and more sustainable to just mine the ores. Right? Come on. And this is tough. This is tough to do. But luckily, we are already there. Give me that iron. Give me that iron. Alright. Let's get set and get out of here. Mm. Something exploded. Uh oh. Uh oh, one of our thrusters exploded. Well, I kinda thought that that would happen. <laughs> I mean, I guess a lot faster way would be to just land on the surface, use your character drill, and drill some iron. Uh, but oh well. Okay, I kind of can't really take off right now. <laughs> Not enough thrust. Let's chase this on some iron. <laughs> can I do it now? Okay. I kind of can, I think. And... Okay... This is just ridiculous. Why did I do this? I swear I'm good at survival. I just suck at starting at it. Get out of the hole. And back we go. Really low atmospheric density on Pertam in most places isn't helping either. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Right, where's the base? Where's the base? Where's the base? There it is. And now let's see if we can make the landing. Uh, let's not crash into the tower. Oop. Perfect landing. <laughs> 10 out of 10. And... Okay, well, that was semi-successful, <laughs> I guess. And we got some iron ore. Hooray! This will provide us with a good amount of iron. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Any more iron ore? Nope. Okay. So the plan is now to just build an assembler, a basic one, get some, get some, get some, get some, get some what? Uh, get some ores, refine them, assemble the components for a more dedicated miner, than just this, <laughs> and then assemble the miner. Right, that seems like a good plan. Alright, there we go, basic assembler built up. Now what we can do is also to move the survival kit 
onto this, and then we can disassemble the respawn pod. Right, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> so let's do this that. Also, I think we can upgrade our tools, right? Yes, we can. Bam, bam, bam. And also we can disassemble stuff. Hooray. Uh, we need some components, some materials. Let's take that and put it in here. And assemble. And we have no cobalt. Uh, where's cobalt? There it is. Alright, so we'll need to make a small flying apparatus just to get her. It shouldn't be too hard. Just put a thruster, a gyroscope, and that's it on this battery. And that's it. But for now we can quickly disassemble one metal grid, because we have one metal grid and we can disassemble it. And that will give us enough cobalt to make all of these tools. Hooray. And there we go. Everything disassembled and a turbo chair assembled. All hail the turbo chair. <laughs> Imagine if I just crashed it immediately. <laughs> also, it's yellow now. Everything is yellow. Perfect. Alright, well, what I must do now is end this here and go into creative, design a miner, then see how many resources I need to build it, then get those resources and build the miner. Wow. Yeah, that's it.